Hi, welcome to part 10 of the video series about the laws of motion. In the previous one, we have defined the normal force and we have learned how to calculate it for the three simplest cases. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the normal force for a more complicated cases. In the fourth case, there is a 10 Newton force pushing the object, but this force makes 37 degrees with the horizontal. The task is to calculate the normal force applied on this object. As usual, we start with drawing a free body diagram for a given object. First two forces which we will draw are force of gravity and the normal force. We can recall that the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. While calculating it, we will need to consider only the forces which are parallel to it, in other words, perpendicular to the surface. That's why, while drawing the applied force, instead of drawing it in the direction shown in the question, we will resolve it into its components, fx and fy. From the diagram, we can see that fx will have zero effect in calculation of the normal force, as it doesn't have any value in vertical direction. As a next step, we can write the formula stating that the net force on a y-axis is equal to zero, as object is not accelerating up or down. If we choose upward as a positive direction, the normal force will have a positive value, force of gravity and Fy are going to have a negative value. Force of gravity can be calculated by multiplying mass and gravitational acceleration. Fy is opposite to 37 degrees, so its value can be calculated by the formula F times sine 37. Mass is 5 kilograms. Gravitational acceleration is 9.8 and force is 10 newtons. The normal force will be equal to 55.02 newtons. The only difference in case 5 is the direction of applied force. That's why the solution is also going to have a small difference. In a free body diagram, we draw the force of gravity and the normal force. While resolving the applied force F into its components, opposing to the previous question, if X will point to the left and if Y will point upwards. Net force on a Y axis is zero again. We choose upward as a positive direction. So this time, Fy is going to have a positive value as well. The only force which is going to have a negative value due to pointing downwards is the force of gravity. Fy is equal to F times sine 37 and force of gravity mass times acceleration. F is 10 newtons, mass is 5 kilograms and G is 9.8 meters per second square. The normal force is equal to 42.98 newtons. The explanation of the last example in this video may seem a bit complicated, especially if you don't like geometry. But at the end of the day, the only thing you will need to know is one formula, which you can memorize and use anytime you need without even thinking about the explanations we will see. The task is to calculate the normal force in a 5 kg object resting or sliding on an inclined plane. Let's start solution with drawing a free body diagram. There are two forces applied on this object. Force of gravity acting downwards and the normal force acting perpendicular to the surface. Of course, there can be friction force, but it will have no effect on our solution. If you still expect to see this kind of questions, which includes a friction force as well, don't worry, we will cover them in the videos related to friction force. As we mentioned in the previous examples, to calculate the normal force, we only need the forces which are parallel to it. In other words, which are in the same direction or opposite to it. To achieve this, we can resolve the force of gravity into its components. As these components will not be in the direction of x or y axis, it's better to name them 
fg parallel for the component which is parallel to the surface and fg perpendicular for a component which is perpendicular to the surface. Net force of vectors perpendicular to the surface is equal to zero, which means the magnitude of the normal force is equal to the magnitude of the perpendicular component of force of gravity. To calculate the value of the normal force, we just need to calculate the value of this perpendicular component. To be able to do it, we will get some help from geometry. If the angle at the bottom of a right triangle is 37 degrees, the angle at the top will be 53 degrees. By using similarity, we can see that the angle between FG and its parallel component is 53 degrees as well. As the angle between two components is 90 degrees, the angle between force of gravity and its perpendicular component is going to be 37 degrees. As FG perpendicular is adjacent to 37 degrees, its value can be calculated as force of gravity or mass times gravitation acceleration multiplied by cosine 37. Mass of the object is 5 kilograms. Gravitational acceleration is 9.8. The magnitude of the normal force exerted on this object is 39.13 newtons. In this video, we have learned how to calculate the normal force for another three cases. In the next video, we are going to learn how to calculate the normal force for the cases involving lifts. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications in order to be updated about my new videos.